the purpose and role of the CQC, what are we there to do? We're there to make sure health and social care services provide people uh, with safe, effective, compassionate and high quality care. And we encourage care services to improve. We're not the improvement body, um, but we very much hope that by uh, rigorous inspection uh, we will highlight any deficiencies, but also highlight what's good about care, um, and that having done that, that will help others to, to, to improve. Across all the sectors that we uh, inspect and regulate, we are asking five key questions. Is service safe? Is it effective? Is it caring? Is it responsive to people's needs? And is it well led? And we think and hope those are questions that matter to, to patients. Um, and certainly we have tested those out in uh, consultation and people have told us, yes, uh, they are what matter. So what's the task um, that I've been set? Um, first of all, it's to inspect all uh, NHS hospital trusts and FTs uh, by December 2015, and in the acute sector there are 161 of those. We will be inspecting them against the five key questions that I've just mentioned. We will also be providing a rating, I'll come back to this, but those of you who know Ofsted will recognise the categories of outstanding good, requires improvement and in inadequate. By the way, why do we have four, not five uh, categories? If you have a category in the middle of adequate, everybody opts for that, that category. Um, and so it's very important not to do that. And why do we not have a category called satisfactory? Because if, if that was the category rather than requires improvement, people are happy to coast along in that. The general approach. Um, is three phases, a preparation phase, a site visit phase and report. And they are all important. Um, and it's not just about the site visit, although that's perhaps the one that, that gets the most attention. The preparation phase, which starts at least a couple of months before uh, we go on site, involves developing a, as m or getting as much information in as we can about the trust. And there's a lot of information out there, particularly in the acute sector. Um, and there's, there's things that are in the, the, the national surveillance data level, and we have recently made public our intelligent monitoring tool. And it, again, it has elements that cover the five key domains. But then there is the, uh, the site visit, and I suppose the big change here is that we are doing both announced and unannounced visits. And there, there, are, um, there are lots of advantages in, in both. So the announced visit means that we can expect the hospital management to be on site when we get there, uh, so that we can meet with them individually and collectively. We can expect to set up focus groups um, with uh, doctors, nurses, allied health professionals and others um, to hear their views on what's going on. And we're finding that the junior doctor focus groups are very revealing because the junior doctors are quite prepared to say how it is and they haven't developed such institutional loyalty um, that, that they won't say how it is. And by the way, they can benchmark against other places. They can say this is the best hospital in this neighbourhood, I've worked in all of them. Um, and, and so that, that's, that's uh, very good. But the, the others are very valuable as well. Then um, the unannounced visit um, comes a week or two later, whenever we choose to go, and we won't tell people when it's going to be, um, so that we can pick up on any other issues at that point. I just want to give you a flavour now of the sorts of information we're looking at, and what comes from the hard data, if you like, and what we can't get from that, but we can get by going into a hospital. We know a lot of information about, about safety, never events, serious incidents, infections, the safety thermometer, certain items out of the staff survey that all tell us about safety. But none of that actually says, is this a safe environment? Uh, is the equipment safe? Are the handling of medicine safe? Is, are the, uh, the staffing levels safe? Um, are the processes they're using safe, etc.? So that's why I think you need both approaches uh, um, to, for, me for safety, but the same is true for effectiveness. We can measure mortality rates, we can look at mortality alerts, we can look at the results of national clinical audits, we can look and see if nice guidance has been implemented. That's very important, but we also want to see how a hospital is managing the deteriorating patient, just as an example. Are they using care bundles and what are their pathways of care? For caring, of course, it is the patient voice that is all important, both the patient voice in large numbers from uh, inpatient survey, cancer patient survey, and increasing from uh, the friends and family test, but also when we're there, looking and observing staff and patient interactions, talking to patients, uh, observing whether they're doing comfort rounds, um, and 
actually seeing how long it takes people to answer their buzzers. You might think that when we're on the ward, people would answer their buzzers very fast, and mostly they do, um, but when they don't, it is a bit telling. Um, and uh, The responsiveness, and uh, this is sometimes quite difficult for people to get uh, their heads around. What we mean by responsiveness is not the, the sort of direct human-to-human -human caring, which is in the previous domain, but is the organisation geared up to, to meet the, the needs of patients. And there are the waiting time standards and whether op operations are cancelled. That is very important. And sometimes the complaints you know, say about outpatients. They might say, you know, how often did I uh, find that the, my notes weren't there um, when, when I went to outpatients. Now, all of that is the hospital, the, the institution, not being responsive to the needs of patients. We're trying to make an overall judgment. And that's going to be very difficult um, um, I'm no doubt very con con contentious, particularly when we get on to the subject of ratings. So I'm going to end there um, by saying it, we are going through a radical change. Quality is genuine at the heart of everything we're doing, but sort of message out to all of you, please help us to shape this programme and do join our inspection teams. Thank you very much. <laughs>